Well, hello there. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and this is Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Should come as no major surprise to anyone. So, after the after the last couple of runs I did, I got well. Let's just say things didn't work out very well. Kind of got I got a little robbed and abused. I felt at least as far as the game is concerned. So I figured it would be a good time to take a break, do some other things. <clears throat> Got myself really into Final Fantasy XII again. All in all, just <clears throat> kind of refocused after a couple of demoralizing losses. And now, and now we're back to try to set, <laughs> set the record straight again. As you see, as you saw, I had a two-win streak that I'm going to essentially put to pasture in order to, in order to get another, get a, more things going. Admittedly, though, the streak right now is not the most important thing. There's still plenty of unlocks to go for, such as with Magdalene, I could try for Cathedral Hush Delirium. Of course, the quality of the run is going to go a long way to determining whether or not that will even be a thing. No. Well, we will find out. Maybe that. Yeah, it's been just an uh -huh, just an awkward few days few days as far as content creation has been concerned. <clears throat> Is I know that I still have a number of a number of series ongoing that I need to be working on. Still need to go back to Baba as you and finish that. Alright, I'll take it. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Still need to what Okay, now I know where the super room is. Still need to really get started on Slay the Spire. There's open, and there's still more games that I've been meaning to look at. I mean, hell, I kind of wanted to. No, it's not going to be there. I have a feeling the secret room is here. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do about this. Now, Baba is You is a very interesting case because, as much as I like that game, part of what part of what made me kind of temporarily put it down is that the game is taken. The game takes a lot of effort to make recordings for, not necessarily because it's on my Switch, but just because in order to get make sure I get the puzzles right, I'm basically playing through the entire game twice. I shouldn't have to tell you that. <clears throat> Not the easiest thing in the world to do. Boy, I wish I had money. I can see two items here that I really want. And without any battery charges, I'm just gonna have to see where the see where the next room it takes me is. If there isn't a second secret room, it'll take me to the Devil Deal room. If there is a second secret room, it'll take me to that, and it, would, it wouldn't be ideal, but it would still be something. I mean, this is a floor where we're receiving no statistical improvements, so... Take anything here with a grain of salt. Well, not, not necessarily with a grain of salt, I think I said that wrong. <clears throat> I know how to speak English real good, yes I does! Alright. I'm excited. Verp? One makes you large. Alright, well, there's nothing really all that special. Oh well. The one makes you larger pill isn't exactly helping anything. Alright, and now I need to 
somehow do all of this without taking a hit so I can get my Devil Deal on. Thanks to the erratic movement of spiders, you can imagine that this room is real stressful for me. And this is a room where just everything shoots random sprays of garbage. But of course, even though it's supposed to be random, you know they're, you know they're all just going to come right towards me. Because even though these enemies can't aim, they... They're just mysteriously cr mysteriously good crack shots. Uh, oh, I mean, at least it's not the room with the purple flies. Mongo Baby will help improve my DPS a little bit, but honestly, I was kind of hoping for something a little bit better. A decent statistical improvement would be nice. Yeah, how dare you. I see you up there, Stone Chest. I'm coming for you, as soon as I can move. Well, as soon as I can move effectively, don't you get her. Okay, well, I mean, that's helpful. Okay, I'm just gonna use it just in case. Ah, shit. And I'm glad I did, because I definitely would have lost my Devil Deal precedent there. Yes, I know I could just use my Orbital, but when you've got that many things coming at you in one room, it's difficult to think about, oh, okay, I need to position myself and with the proper positioning so that the monster will... That seemed like the easiest way to handle that. I'm actually kind of glad I picked up that bad gas pill. It's not often you hear someone say that. It's like, man, I sure am glad I had the shits. Speed. Good. All right, now here's hoping that I get something decently usable here. That was a good use of <laughs> cube of meat. Hmm. Well, this is just straight up trash. Oh, I never finished this room? Well, crud. Okay, so maybe Teleport 2.0 isn't the best option for me. But now that I have multiple keys, let's open this. Really? Uh, that's what you think is worthwhile? Okay. How about we don't do that? Okay, I can get into the secret room here. Well, now it's worth checking the shop now that I have money. And yeah, I might as well buy restock. It's early enough that it can still be helpful. Alright, I think that's it. I just wish that there was... I don't know, why was I even thinking about that? I wish there was a better way to get this run started, but... I guess this is going to be one of those semi-difficult runs. Now well, let's see what happens. <clears throat> and it's an XL floor, so, I mean, there will be a few opportunities. Come on, God, I hate those things. I also really hate that I've... 
only had a statistical upgrade to my speed, and that hasn't even exactly been, you know, incredible. So, what do I do from here? What's the game plan? Well, as much as I would like to try to mm, get to boss rush, I doubt it's going to happen. But, here's something I can do. Let's actually effectively use this item. Ha! You dare take this- <laughs> take this treasure chest! You are now trapped in- bitch, no. Be able to get some of this stuff. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Cuba Meat. Yes, as accidental as that looked, that was planned, I swear. Of course, I am not happy about being in a room with three champions. and no goddamn clue where the secret room is. I mean, that's a hint right there. Let's see if I'm right about that. I only have one bomb, so it, this had better be worth my time. Okay, well, now I have no bombs. Note to self, do not take Teleport 2.0 again. Now that would I would be lying if I said I thought that, that I could never get anything out of Teleport 2.0. It's just, I'm not getting it to work in this particular instance, because I'm just kind of getting a bad, I'm getting a short end of the stick. There we go. I'm not going to use a bomb on that. Kind of difficult to start talking about anything interesting when I just got I just got no ability to concentrate on anything else. And even that's not entirely true. I'm just trying not to screw up. Because if there's one thing that I do enjoy that I do enjoy about this game, it's obviously that it's a game that requires a decent amount of skill. Skill that has been honed over a long period of fuck that over a long period of time over multiple releases. I've played this game on 3DS, the Wii U, obviously PC and Plan. I play it on Switch occasionally, which <clears throat> I know it just recently got the the fifth booster pack update not too long ago. To which I uh, to which I could say of Nicholas Gatt, it's about time, guys. It took me so long. To be fair, it wasn't that recent. It's just as recent enough that I know that I it's still in my mind. Mostly because it came out way after the Booster Pack 5 update came out for PC release. Take a shot at an item here versus the fallen. Okay, well, this could be good news. I mean, unless I take a hit and lose my double deal chance. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. But it is a double deal item nonetheless, so it's it's worth taking the shot on. Let's just see if I end up getting a good Devil Deal item. Honestly, I can probably make better use of that than Teleport 
But in order for me to care, I need to first see what I get here. And I think I'm gonna take it one way or another. I just want to see if there if this is something I'll end up end up absorbing or picking up. Yeah. And I'll end up absorbing that. Lovely. Well, as you can see, that was not very helpful. So even when I do get statistical bonuses now, it's just going to be trash, like, you know, range. I get the feeling that this run is not going to be a long one because of it. Really? You seriously want me to pick that garbage up? Of course, I've already been through most of the floor, so it's not like there's much of a chance at... God... This shit is awful. So, my only other hope is that there's something decent in the shop, or that I can... Maybe um, finagle enough rooms to get the, eh, to get the job done. Didn't even really want to take chemical peel, but it's also about the only like actual damage up I've seen. And it's not even a real damage up, it only affects half my tears. I hate you all. Oh, that's nice. Would have been nice if I had found it earlier. Would have felt a bit more secure at the very least. Also really makes me hope I don't get too many more shot speed upgrades. Things are looking a little bit better now. I can stop being so apprehensive about everything. So I'm not overlooking the idea that they wanted me to take they wanted me to take fucking halitosis or dead tooth or whatever that item is called. I don't even care. I am suck so much. But, I now have the wear for all to just absorb it with Void and just call it a day. Damn, damage and luck. Alright, I can, I can deal with that. That's good. That would be nice to be able to improve my rate of fire, but yeah, what can you do? <clears throat> So I don't know if I'm late on this news or not. I know it. I know it broke a little while ago, but see, who who here's planning on going to <laughs> going to BlizzCon? I mean, I wouldn't blame anyone for being like, man, fuck that shit after the whole Diablo Immortal garbage. Which that's a topic I haven't really talked about. The feelings on Diablo Immortal, which is yeah, it's just kind of a dismissive. Eh? Really. So now I'm just going to lose all of my <clears throat> all of my deals or offers with celestial beings just because everything wants to be unnecessarily difficult. <clears throat> uh, and to be fair, that is kind of what the point of this floor is. So that's actually a bit of the game mechanics that I haven't spoken on yet, and we'll definitely take stopwatch. So what? So, God damn it! 
So stopwatch, by the by, when I pick that and when I pick it up, if I take a hit in the room, all enemy activity slows down. It doesn't necessarily work on everything, but it works on enough to be useful, and that's part of part of the reason why it takes 999 coins donated to the shop to get it, because it can be a bit of a game-breaking item. It was even more game-breaking in Rebirth when it was basically just everything moved at half speed all the time, aside from you. It is kind of your way of saying screw you to the game. Shot speed upgrade. This is rapidly becoming eh, becoming worse and worse. Or maybe I shouldn't be complaining. It's like, hey, you still got Tech X. Things will be okay. And you're probably right. But I know what I know what makes Tech X optimal. It's not super high shot speed. And now, in order to balance the ledger, what I would really like is damage improvements. Because now that the uh, Tech X ring is going to be spending less time on passing over enemies, now what I want is for, is for the time where it is overlapping enemies, I want it to do more damage. And I don't know if that's asking too much or not. I would think probably not, but knowing the game, it would probably disagree. dead already. Yeah, I'd like very much for everything not to go straight to hell. That'd be great. Still haven't even done today's daily challenge. I'll probably end up doing that after this uh, after this run. I just hope it's not awful. At wow. It really wants me to work for what I'm getting. and luck again. So this is one of those runs where if I hadn't gotten Void, if I hadn't picked up Void, I'd be so screwed right now. <sighs> Welcome to No Deals Deluxe. My, <laughs> my name is Bob Rossenstein, and, and I will be your guy. Here on No Deal Deluxe, the whole point is to not get any deals of any kind. I almost feel like I'm in a death spiral right now. I'm pretty rest assured that I'm not, but at the same time, it's hard to shake the feeling when everything's been kind of working against you. Which reminds me, I was going to talk about the floor variations. So, at least as of the release of the game right now, every every different floor has three different variations, and this is not cool. This room sucks. Fuck you. Now, just using the just using the normal basement as the as the example, the three variations are just the basement. I don't even 
know why I picked that up. If I get hit once, I lose it. But oh well. So, the variations are the basement, the cellar, and the burning basement. So now I will explain the difference between all of those. The basement is just the vanilla first floor variant, first floor room variants as they as they normally. I hate that fucking thing. How dare I concentrate on something other than me, you selfish piece of shit? Hey, I don't have to spend a bomb for this now. Not that it was really worth it. That would bring me on to the cellar. What the cellar is... That's not useful. Oh my god, even more shot speed. What in the world is going on here? Well, now if I find an item that requires a bit of a hit to my speed, I know I can absorb it pretty safely. Alright, let's get a couple more soul hearts, just because I feel I've been bleeding out resources, and I could really stand to try to hold on to some semblance of doing well. just kind of moment, kind of rewind a little bit. So the basement is the um, normal first floor variants as they as they as they ex always existed with of course some of the new rooms that sh that have been designed for them in Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus. The cellar is a harder variation on first floor rooms that oftentimes deal with the motif of spiders. Which is, which is why just about every enemy in, in the cellar is, as one would expect, a spider. Looks like we're going cathedral route. <clears throat> cellar variation, cellar room, cellar variations are typically where you'll see things like Ragman show up. It's, there's uh, cellar variations on the floors are not a lot of fun. Then what the burning basement floors are is they'll typically be uh, they'll typically be the same as regular first floor rooms. But with the notable with the notable difference of things are on fire, so the motif is fire and burning. Now, it doesn't necessarily, in my opinion anyway, it doesn't necessarily go in a strict binary of easy, of easy, medium, hard. What it more so is to me, what it more so is to me is. Regular, the regular floor is the easy floor. The second variation is usually the hardest variation, but depending on what you find in the third variations, it can be different. For example, the flooded I would say that the flooded caves and the dank depths are certainly harder than their second variations. And it makes me think that the burning basin was probably supposed to be as well, it's just I have an easier time with the burning basin than the cellar. So again, take that with a grain of salt, but that, hmm, that's kind of what, I've me what I meant when I said that everything has kind of been designed to be difficult, is that it's just been nothing, uh, nothing but the, uh, those harder variations on the floors, and, you know, done without any real way of getting stronger. On top of that, if I hadn't found Boy, this run would be so damn disappointing. 
I was very lucky to get that crawl space with Pack X, otherwise this run this one would be in train wreck territory for sure. You know, I think that's more worthwhile. Oh, go away. And it's like they say, not, not all runs are created equal in this game, obviously. Some runs will just give you the keys to the kingdom. Other runs will smash you in the nuts relentlessly with a golf club and... <clears throat> and then when you think when you think that that's the worst that can happen, then it'll then it'll cut your phone line to prevent you from calling the ambulance. Not taking it permanently. That I might take permanently, depending on how it interacts with Tech X. Find out. No, oh, it doesn't. All right, well, stick with Void then. But like, as I've said when I first started playing this game. I have a strong love for this game, and the game has evolved quite a bit since <clears throat> Rebirth came out in 2014. So, since this, and since there is even more DLC coming out for this game in the form of Repentance, it has no solid release date yet, but it is still coming. That of that much I I know. Really? I don't even really want the white pony. Well, at this point there isn't a whole lot I can do with void, so maybe I should take white pony. I think I'm still gonna refrain though. There's got to be something better I can. Wow! Just everything is a slap in the face today. Any chance I think I would be getting at trying to get stronger is just met with this strange resistance. Now I know for a while the Scarred Womb was one of the only floor variants that was no different from any of the others, but that did change not too long ago. Now, what the Scarred Womb represents is essentially falling apart. As you'll notice, there's lots of enemies that burrow, lots of enemies that when they die tend to turn into other things. It's very much the idea of being scarred. Big surprise, right? I'm not going to even mess with that. Alright, well, this run was giving me no end of trouble, so I'm not surprised that I'm not going to be able to make Hush. The only question is, is the rest of this floor worth exploring? May as well have a quick look.
Uh, who knows, maybe I'll find like the one tinted rock that has something worth my time in it. Ugh, come on. Right, I am not a fan of these enemies. There are certain enemies that I handle just fine, and those guys typically don't tend to be it. But of course, I'm not finding anything useful. what I'm doing is I'm I do this and I do this channel I play so much Isaac and part of it is just because I really enjoy this game another part of it is I'd like to think that I'd like to think that I can help new people get into this game it's been out for so long and <clears throat> I want to see what you drop first willing to spend some health on the demon beggar, even though it's probably not a good idea. out here. I do have a plan with the, with all of this, by the way, so it's not just me being, like, unnecessarily reckless. Keep in mind, I have been starved for an actual decent item. Not that Tech X isn't good enough, but you know me, I would rather see, I would rather get as much as I can to try to push the limits. What is this, by the way? I can see Okay, don't really want experimental treatment either, so... Even more shot speed ups. So if I were just playing like a normal run with say like piercing tears or something, that... Screw you. I hate rooms like that. That would be totally fine. Having this thing move so fast is actually not good for it. I'm drowsy. I found pills. I only have eight items because I've absorbed everything else. So, no, actually I actually think I'm not going to do that. be one thing if I had collected a bunch of items, but just about everything has just been kind of trashed here, so I've just been absorbing everything. <laughs> to which the only thing I can... Oh my god, I hate this room! I'm aware that the only reason I'm getting hit is because I'm being an impatient asshole, but at the same time, like, it's... Well, let's just be fair, I, even though I have Tech X, I've kind of had enough of this run. This run is not doing me any favors. So, outside of just playing for my own entertainment, I'm hoping that by watching the way that I play, you can, like, my viewers watching can learn, can learn a little bit about 
you know, some of the do's and don'ts of the game. I'm not thrilled about this. I don't really want to lose health for it. God, this entire run has just been so bleh. So substandard. And it was to that end that I had originally started by explaining basically what every item did as I was picking it up. I should have absorbed that. But a lot of items I think are rather self-explanatory, so the one, the only ones I really plan on talking about at, at great length are the ones that have odd interactions or ones that have something special about them, such as Stopwatch. I... that is an item that what it does is not immediately apparent when... Fuck those things. What it does isn't immediately apparent when you pick it up, so it helps to have someone let you know, hey, it does have an effect, you just have to... you, know, you just have to work with it a bit. to pick up, but there it is. I'm not even going to try to squeeze in between the spikes. I have, I'm in a position where I, where I feel like that would be a dangerous... I also have 8 luck, though. 8 luck and stopwatch, so even if I do screw up, I should be okay. Alright, let's try. I didn't think so. Let's see if I get anything good out of the slot machine. Looking like right now, probably not. is the same four hearts I started with. I still have them. Come on, pay out. Give me something. That works. There you go. See, it is possible to squeeze in between the spikes. I mean, I do it often enough, I, I would know. Eh, yeah, there's a small part of me that I was hoping to get the dollar bill out of that, but oh well. Full health. I found pills. There we go. Alright. You know what, though? That was worth it. It helped, it helped improve my defense quite a bit by giving me some defensive orbitals. Alongside the cube of meat, that actually makes my defenses pretty darn good. I just need to now not worry about slamming into things. And this hierro rune that I've had pretty much the entire game will finally see some use on the chest. Or maybe I'll finally get a, get a decent item. Ooh, maybe I'll find Dead Onion and finally slow down my shots. And again, I don't want to make it sound as though the run isn't good enough as is. I will win this run. But it would just be it would be nice to get to get better. Maybe you would, maybe a few well placed items will make me prepared for delirium. Wouldn't that be something?
Now, on the point of why I play so much Isaac, well, one, it, like I said, I've been playing the game since since 2014. It's one of it's one of my favorite games. I fell in love with this game from the time I first played it, which actually is a bit of a story in and of itself. It wasn't just oh oh a new game came out. I should have a look at that. No, there's a, there is a little bit of a story as to how I got into Isaac. Hey, it's probably not like the craziest story in the world, but there is a story to it. Eh, nothing great. Oh well. I'm curious. Doesn't do anything. Alright. So, I, so when I first played this game, it was actually not not on my own. When I first played the game, I was actually turned on to the idea by a, by a friend of mine who was like, Hey, why don't you check this game out? I think it's kind of neat. Maybe you'll like it. And at that point in time, I'd only heard things in passing about Binding of Isaac. I didn't actually know anything about the game. But I had heard about it. I, I knew at one point or another it was like a silly Flash game. And he was like, and then he was like, no, it got remade from the Flash game. It's something else now. I mean, not something else, but it's, it's better now. You should have a look. So, okay, boots up his PS4. <laughs> I don't know why a PS4 booting up is making the same sound as America Online. That kind of shows your age, buddy. Oh, shut up. You have to comment on how old you think I am. I mean, you're, you're the one that's old. So... So I decided, so yeah, I figured, what the, what the hell, let me give this game a try. I'm generally willing to look to try anything once. Boot, boot it up, go through the kind of opening cinematic where it explains, you know, what everything is and what's going on. No, I don't think that's going to help much. That's not going to help much. Ludovico plus Tech X. I don't know if that's useful. I don't if attack is useful. Um, everything else here is sort of it. And I'm not sure if this, you know, I might as well take that. I don't want to absorb the D10, but... You know, whatever. Oh my god, my shot speed is up to 2.4. What am I gonna do? You know, my very first thought when first trying the game was something along the lines of, Ah, this looks a lot like Zelda. And, I mean, yes, but, I mean, that, that was just one of them. That seemed like probably the strongest inspiration to me at the time. I kind of don't want that. One thing I found really interesting was the use of was the use of the crystal beams in the game. Because it just kind of I guess it, you could say it caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting the, expecting the game to come out using using that sort of wow, I'm dumb. Using that sort of overtone to it. I liked it. What can I say? I thought it, I thought it fit the game quite nicely. 
but then it being just kind of, you know, a super violent kind of cartoon game. I mean, not nearly as super violent as, oh, I don't know, Mortal Kombat. Come back here. Wow. I know what this room is and I hate it. You, sir, are punk. So are you. I'm not a punk, I'm a bomb. Oh, I'm sorry, you're a punk ass bomb. Saying like damage has definitely seen a huge improvement. That by itself is what makes me think I can handle delirium should the portal show up. May as well have a look at the rest of the floor, see if I can get any other decent items. And if not decent items, maybe you can go do a D. Draw some stats and hope that I don't get shot speed. Now, when I first played the game, I didn't know how, how everything interacted, just like probably many of you checking this out for the first time. Here's what I here's what I did know. What I was playing, I was enjoying. The game really did a lot for me. I don't think anti-grav and Yep, all it is is, is a tier rate improvement, and you know what, I'm fine with that. No oh, thanks. I will absorb that. Hey, damage. Okay. No, stop it! Fucker. Fortunately, there are hearts lying around. I don't have to use this full health pill. At that moment is to my benefit. Because, I'm not saying that the void will show up, but if it does, then I... That, I mean, it's not going to be very useful, but there's no reason... You know what? I shouldn't have picked it up. I could have absorbed it. Damn it. I was, I was just figuring, you know, it doesn't really work with Tech X, but there's no harm in picking it up because it's not going to cause any detriment either. Now I real now I remember, oh yeah, I've got Void. I probably should have been smarter about that. One damage is no laughing matter, especially with something like Tech X, where the damage constantly ticks as long as the shot is hovering over the enemy. Well, guess I was wrong. Oh well. So, that very first run I ever played on my buddy's PS4, <clears throat> and that run was a victory. So, call it beginner's luck, even though I had no idea what I was doing. Call it whatever you will, but it was my lead into Isaac, and I'll never forget it. And, you know, if that particular buddy is watching, thanks, man. It's one of those instances that helped shape the gamer I am today, and I won't forget it. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel to see more updates in the future. Drop a like, leave a comment, but the best thing you can do with my videos is share it with a friend. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I'll be seeing you.